Howdy! How's everybody out there in YouTube land today? I hope this finds you well. Lord have mercy, it's time for another exciting episode of Heifer Haven's Free Advice. While well, heifer's up there at the ready, her horns are polished all up, her, her ears are fuzzed up, got that little grin on her face. She wants to know, what you gonna talk about today, Brenda G? What you gonna talk about today? Well, I'm about to tell you. For I do, though, there's always one thing that we've got to do, and that is... More cowbell! <laughs> now that I have your attention, let's see what our letter has to say today. Dear Heifer Haven, you always seem to be so upbeat and happy. I know that that can't be a 24-7, 365 rule. What do you do to keep yourself in such a good mood? Well, <laughs> interesting that you should ask me that now. I mean, I've spent the last two weeks with a big gaping hole in the roof where the Keebler Elves tree fell into it. And... Uh, <laughs> I have been told no so many times that I, I don't even know how to respond anymore. Um, whether it is the contractors or the city or the, the trying to get an attorney to represent me in this or the insurance company or, or what. Um, and there are some t days where I swear to God I'd have to have, be wearing a top hat and have a big cane on top of it in order to touch bottom. It, it, <laughs> it gets devastating. But, you have to keep trying to look for the bright side, even if you don't see it. Even if it might be a train at the end of the tunnel headed for you. You have to try to say, hey, this too shall pass. It's going to be over soon. Everything comes, everything goes. Look at the things that you have already accomplished in your life and the things that you've already got over. I mean, you know, I've been through cancer, heart attack, and my... My husband passed away. My dad passed away in my arms. I lost my mother when I was 17 years old. Um, I, I, I've been through a, a foreclosure and a bankruptcy. Uh, you know, financial losses of all descriptions. Uh, last year, somebody cut my van up in my driveway. Uh, you know, goes back to that old hee haw song. If I had, if it weren't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, you just have to look at it and say, man. I can't make this stuff up. I find that one of the best things to do is get creative. Whether it's creative trying to deal with people in the circumstance or whether it's creative and trying to uh, uh, just create something, just get away from it. Just say, okay, I'm taking a 15 minute break from all this. Phone can ring, the doorbell can ring right off the side of the house. I don't care. I'm taking a 15 minute break. I'm walking away. This is a mental health break and I'm going to do something creative. Uh, whether you're cooking, you know, if you like to cook, um, you know, go out and whip you up something, grab a skillet, make something. If, if you like to paint, you know, grab your paints and your paintbrush and, and paint something. Um, they, if, if you like to crochet, you know, whatever, woodworkers, you know, grab, grab your wood or piece of paper to pencil and start drawing something out that you're going to build. Um, get your mind off of whatever your problems are for a little bit. Call it a mental health break. I mean, nothing else. Like the old commercial says, break you off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Hey, I said it was free advice. I never said be good. <laughs>